hospital, we're at rehab centers throughout the country. We're also arranging, there's also arranging for us to go to India and set the hospital, set up new hospitals there and also in Australia. The whole objective is to be able to provide paraplegics with a way to get out of their wheelchairs and get the exercise and bring a lot around. One of the things we're doing, we're working with stroke victims. As soon as you get a stroke victim out of bed, out of the wheelchair, get them walking, the brain will rewire with them a little too, and they'll regain their capacity. A little history about the life suit. Monty Reed was uh, an airborne ranger back in 1987. He was on a, on a uh, troop jump over Germany. His parachute collapsed about 100 feet off the ground, hit the ground, some of the losses, and yet was able to get eight miles back to his barracks. The next morning he woke up, good move, he was totally paralyzed. So now he broke his vertebrae in four parts, broke his ankle, pinched the nerves in his, in his neck, and the doctor said, well, you might as well get used to being in a wheelchair because you'll never walk again. And about that time, Monty was given a copy of Robert Hyland's book, Starship Troopers. Chapter 7 of Starship Troopers, Hyman talks about troop discipline in the white suit going to battle in their exosuits. That would enable them to strap in and they'd be up to thousands of miles and travel hundreds of miles. Monty said, wait a minute, I just got to lift 107 pounds and Monty get down that hall. How hard can this be? This man, high school degree, never had any college, but he, he started drawing out the map. Interesting enough, in 